Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite things to do in Google Earth Pro, and that is to layer historical images on top of current views. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Here I am in Google Earth Pro, which by the way, is just the name for the desktop version of Google Earth that you can get for free. And I'm zoomed in or centered on George Washington's Mount Vernon. Now I could go and use a little bit of the historical imagery here, but that's only going back to 1984. I want to go back further in history. So I'm going to find a historical map to layer on top of this image. And I've already done that through the Library of Congress. The Library of Congress has a great collection of historical maps that are available in the public domain. And I found this map here of George Washington's Mount Vernon. And here's the full size version of it. Now what I did, I didn't want to layer all of this material. I just wanted the map section layered on top. So I just took a screenshot of this section here where the map actually is. Now let's go back into Google Earth and see how this works. So I have my map centered and I'm going to go up here and use the option for add image overlay. And we'll see it's provided a little grid for where the image is going to go. We don't need to worry too much about this grid right now. Our first priority is uploading the image. So we're going to upload the image and I'm going to call it historical map of Mount Vernon. It doesn't really matter what you call it as long as you know what it is. And I'm now going to upload the image that I'm going to overlay. So there's my image and we'll see there it is. You can add a description if you want. Now, before I save this, let's do a couple of little things. First of all, let's adjust the transparency and adjusting the transparency lets me get a little insight to line up my overlay so that it fits a little bit better. So let's go and now move this over. So I'm over making sure that overlay is a little bit more detailed. And if I want to, I can go in and now make that a little darker. So now it fits a little bit better. Now if I want to change the size of it or the position a little bit, I can click and drag the corners to do that. And my goal here is to try to line it up as best as possible to make an accurate overlay. If I need to change the orientation a little bit, click on this little diamond. And that'll let you change the orientation. And then we can go back and layer that in a little bit more detailed. And so we now have our overlay. We can zoom in, and zoom out on the transparency. When I'm happy with it, I'll click OK. And you'll see that's now saved in my places here in Google Earth. Now, if I wanted to share this with someone, I could right click hit save place as, or I could email it. Maybe I want to save place as. And we'll call it historical map of Mount Vernon. Saves the KMZ file. I'll just save it to my desktop for now. And then I can email that file to anyone I want to email it to. So that's how you can overlay historical imagery on top of current views in Google Earth Pro. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.